Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to download and install mod menu for Minecraft Java in 2024. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser. Now I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to your search box and search up modwins like so. Once you've done this, you should see a website called modwins.com and simply click on the modwins name. Once you've done this, you should be on the homepage for Modwinf, which is a website with a bunch of Minecraft modifications, including Mod Menu. So, to get such Mod Menu, what we need to do is simply go to Discover Content on the top of the website and go down to Mods. Now, what you want to do is go to Search Mods and click Mod Menu in there, and you should see Mod Menu. What you want to do is, well, number one, don't mind the picture, and number two, click on the name for Mod Menu. Once you've done this, simply go to versions and select the version that you want for your other mods. Because mod menu doesn't do much in itself, it's only for other mods to, for you to see. So what you have to do here is simply go in game versions and select what versions your other mods will be. This is only for fabric and quilts, so that's one thing to note. But what you want to do here is simply select the version. I will just select the latest version, so 1.0.4 in this case. And as it's for fabric, I will need to get fabric and quilt mods. But simply click the green download button. And once you're done, what you want to do is simply go to the version name because there is two dependencies. First off, you need to also download the fabric API. To do so, click on the fabric API and go to versions and select the version of your mod menu mod. So simply go on game version. Make sure you can find it nice easily. As I selected the latest one, I'll just take 1.8.4. And once you have Fabric API, go to the top left arrow to go back to the dependencies list to download text placeholder API. Simply click on that, then go on versions and go on game versions and select whatever version that you want. I'll just do 1.8.4 in this case. And here we can see that we have one two months ago that we can download as well. Once you did all this, you're technically done with mod menu. Now, what I'll do, I'll go on discover content just to get a mod like sodium, just to show you mod menu actually showing sodium. So what you want to do here is simply go on sodium, for example, it can be any mod. And you can go on versions of that mod and select the version of your mod menu and for fabric as well and click download and now you have your mod and mod menu with its two dependencies now we need fabric to make all these mods work and to get fabric you'll simply have to go to a new tab and you'll have to search up fabric minecraft once you did this you should see fabric right here all you want to do is simply go on fabric.net and click the link and you should see a blue download button. Click on download and click on download for Windows. Now you have fabric installer as well. Now you can close your web browser and now you need to open up your downloads folder. To do so, go to your file explorer and go to your downloads folder. You might have a different destination for these, but you should see these items right here. The first thing you want to do is double click fabric installer. Make sure that the Minecraft version is the same as all of your mods. If it is, simply do install. And OK. And close. Once you're done, what you want to do is go to your Minecraft launcher. And you'll want to wait a couple seconds for the launcher to load up. But we need to do this because we need to number one play Minecraft and number two put the mods into the dot Minecraft folder. So here we can see what fabric, so it has downloaded all correctly. And what we want to do is go to installations. You want to hover over your fabric installer and you want to go to your folder for that installment. Now it will bring you to the normal Minecraft folder, but that's completely fine. Simply go and find the mods folder, double click the mods folder. Now what you want to do is go back to your downloads folder to select your four or more mods and simply do copy go and use the top left arrow to go back to mods and paste 
Now that's the fastest way to add your mod to the .minecraft mods folder. Now, simply go on the Minecraft launcher, go on to play, make sure you have Fabric Loader selected, if you do, click play. Now, you'll have to wait for all the Fabric files to be downloaded and everything, and you should be able to play Minecraft with your mod menu that shows your list of mods. So, let's just wait for that. Alrighty, so, once we're done, we should see 1.10.4, for example, your version, fabric, and your 55 mods, this means mod menu worked, and we can indeed see a mods button, which is normally not here. What you want to do here is click this, and you should see your list of mods, including Sodium, which is the mod we have downloaded from the mods website as well. So, for example, if you do done and go to a single player world, you will be able to use your mods, and you'll be able to see your list of mods. So, for example, if I go on F3, Sodium gives you more FPS. We can see we have Sodium render over here, and we have different settings as well. But outside of that, we have a mods button, which we can see the list of mods. Some mods will have a little configure button here. So this is what the mod menu actually does. It helps you configure your mods directly into Minecraft and not into the configure like folder for Minecraft itself. You can edit all mods without mod menu, but this is just an easier way of doing it as it's visually like appealing instead of actually a text format on your actual files for Minecraft. Outside of that, that's what mod menu does. So yeah, in this video I showed you how to get mod menu for Minecraft Java in 2025 and yeah so if you liked today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye